Hey guys, Dwally19 here. What's up, YouTube? Um, I decided to do a, another quick vlog here. I'm gonna try to do a couple while I'm driving. Uh, just got back from playing basketball. I'm sweaty and nasty. Uh, so I figured I'd do a video on my previous cars and kind of how I progressed up to the STI. Uh, my first car was a 1994 purplish blue Honda Civic DX. And it had like old school roll em up wi or windows, uh, no power or anything. It did have AC. Um, we got it right when I was 16, I got my license. And that car was awesome, bulletproof, lasted me forever. Uh, the thing I mo liked the most about that was the gas mileage. I remember one time in high school, I filled up the car for 10 bucks back when gas was like, I think it was like a dollar oh five or something, the glory days. And um, just phenomenal gas mileage, never had any issues. Um, it died when I was in college. Uh, and it had over 200,000 miles and the mechanic when, when it like I kept getting the engine check engine light And like it just stopped one day. He's like, yeah, something was leaking And you would have never known about it. And that's why it died. So Honda will always have a special place in my heart first car uh, my second car uh, Was when I was a sophomore in college and the, these first two my parents gave me uh, When I graduated college or my senior year right before I graduated uh, they gave me a 1998, no, no, it might have been a, a 2000, yeah, I think it was a 2000 or 98, something, somewhere in there, Honda Civic EX, and it was green, like forest green, and, um, I, oh, both of these were sticks, by the way, I, I learned how to drive on an automatic at first, and then worked my way up to a stick before I got my license, but since I first got my car I've been driving a manual transmission um, so the green Civic uh, what I loved about that was the moonroof was awesome also reliable also uh, super fuel efficient a great four-door Civics are just great reliable cars you know but after that um, I got my first teaching job and I was secure I had an apartment had cheap rent I was like you know what? it's time to upgrade so I bought my first car and this was probably when I was in, I was probably 25, 26, somewhere in there. Um, I bought, I wanted a little bit more power. I wanted a hatchback for some reason. I was like set on a hatchback, good looks, but you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too expensive. So I bought a used like 2009 uh, Toyota Matrix S. Five speed, it had like 160 horsepower, 150 pound feet of torque. And I was like, whoa, this is just this is crazy power coming from the Civics. And uh, the Toyota was super reliable, also got good gas mileage. I actually really liked the looks of it. It was white. And I I wasn't a big fan of white cars, but when I got that and then I got these cheap hubcaps to cover the wheels, um, I thought it looked sick, like with the black, I got I got the window tint and then the black cup caps and then I thought it looked pretty slick. I always thought the Matrix was a was a unique looking car, um, not the most sporty, but I felt like it was a lot sportier coming from the Civic. Um, super reliable, I remember one time, the only thing I ever had wrong with that was there was a rattle and it was uh, certified pre-owned. So I took it to the dealership, they, they found the rattle, fixed it right away and never had a problem with the Toyota so with that I think I remember it was around 15,000 used I think I put 2,000 down and so I had a loan for 13,000 paid that off as soon as possible probably two two or three years I don't know I paid it off super quick and once I uh, once I paid off the, the matrix I was like, you know what? I've always loved Hondas. I always drove Honda Civic SIs and Gran Turismo. Uh, I want a Civic SI, it's time. So I started looking around. I found an awesome used Civic SI at this Beamer dealership. It had like 9,000 miles and it was 19,000 bucks. Traded in the Matrix. I think my loan for that was like 11 or 12. And I loved my Honda Civic SI. When the VTEC kicks in, it's awesome. It's like a mini turbo, you know, sensation. 
revving it all the way to 8,000, 9,000 RPM, I can't remember what it was, is insane. I love revving that engine out. There's nothing like it. Um, it only makes me wish I would have gotten S2000 at some point in my life, super bad. I love, I I was this close to getting an S2000. There's some days where I'm like, I should have got it, but a whole nother story. So the Civic Si, I got like 28 miles to the gallon, super reliable. Hands down, up until this car, the best interior I had ever had. It was insane. The Civics, especially even now, insane interiors. So I had the Civic Si, loved the death out of it. It was silver, four door. I don't like silver, but it had tinted windows and it was the four door in that generation, 2011, I thought looked slick. Um, so that was, that was the next car I bought. And that was probably in 20, 12, probably, yeah, probably somewhere in there. Drove that until it had about 36,000 miles, and I just started to get this itch, you know, like Civic Si, great power initially, a good introduction to sports cars, right? Um, but I, I needed more, so I started doing research, and all of a sudden I'm just reading WRX, WRX, all wheel drive, turbo, 200, what was it, 60 horsepower, 63 horsepower, 250 some pounds of torque. And I'm like, Subaru? I've grown up in Colorado, lived in the Denver area all my life. Everybody drives a Subaru. I hated, hated Subarus in college. One of my, this girl I dated in college had her little Impreza and I hated it. I hated it so much. So typical Colorado car is a Subaru, an Outback. Um, so I was like, really, Subaru? Went and test drove a used one at the same Honda dealership that had uh, the S2000 blew me away like I never felt power like that before in my life I was like holy crap this is insane this is you can get I just remember thinking you can get in so much trouble with this this is ridiculous so at that point I was like oh I think I want it and it'd be nice to have all-wheel drive and nice to have that turbo sensation I, I could go back to having a hatchback for some reason I was like set on having a hatch so I went down to Huberger. It was this was 2014, March of 2014, right before the 15 WRX is launched. I was like, yeah, I knew all about the, 14, the 15 WRX. I was like, I don't want to wait. I could get a good deal on this. I want a hatchback. Huberger had this sick World Rally Blue, and I think I paid like 24, like five for it, something insane. And so I got a 14 WRX. Traded in my SI. Again, so that was a huge down payment. I think that was like 16,000 down. So my loan was around, I think, again, 12, 11, somewhere in there. Get the 14 WRX. First thing I noticed in WRX, the 14s. Awesome. World Rally Blue, that's probably the best color of it in that generation. I didn't like the interior. The interior on that gen WRX is shit. The worst interior I've had out of probably all of my cars. Just felt cheap. The gearbox was so sloppy, so sloppy. The gear knob, the shifter was disgusting. Great power, decent seats, but no, I actually remember the 14 WRX the seats. I remember I had such bad lower back problems. They looked great, but didn't love them. And then I started reading more about the 15 WRX and I was like, dang, maybe I should have waited. Luckily, when I bought it, like there were no more hatches left. Like if somebody wanted a hatch, they were screwed if, if they wanted it brand new. I, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna try to get the 15 WRX, a sedan. And I actually think the new gen at the WRX STIs look the best out of any of the WRXs, any of the generations. These cars look beautiful and aggressive, kind of like an Evo. Um, so I put a Craigslist ad up. This guy from Minnesota really wanted one because he had a previous one. He was in Denver for like a business thing and he just paid for it cash. Just like, yeah, I, I want to get one of these. I can't find one anywhere. He came and checked it out. I think I had, I don't even think I had a, a thousand miles on it. And he bought it for, paid for it cash. And so I used that money to, uh, for the down payment on the 15 WRX. So the 14 WRX, great sounds, great power, but just awful interior, awful. And I personally, I like, I think the hatch, that generation, the hatch looks better than the sedan, but I think these sedans look way better than anything that 
Subaru's ever made, besides the BRZ. Um, so in May of 2014, I used that money, put down a deposit, or I went to get the uh, a WRX, went to short line. At the time when the WRXs were launching, you couldn't get them, like, right? Like, I was one of the first people in Colorado probably to have a white WRX when they launched in May of 14. I paid full MSRP, uh, the, and, uh, what is it, delivery? Like, I was lucky to even get it, but I was just so pumped. Got the 15 WRX, loved it, drove it. I think I had almost, I think I had 26,000 miles on it when I traded that in for this car. So, I can talk more about the WRX and SCI, but I just wanted to give a, a quick background of uh, my previous cars. So if you guys have any questions of the previous ones I've owned, let me know. Um, I'm a huge Honda fan, I really am. Like, I'm really looking forward to the new SI and Type R. Um, and I've really liked some of the Ford Fiesta and uh, Focus cars that I've driven or drove. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to give a quick background of the cars I tested out, or I, I not tested out, I owned. I'm gonna go into cars that I considered purchasing and test drove and why I liked them and why I didn't get them and stuff like that because there are a lot of great cars out there guys don't get me wrong like I love the STI but there are bits and pieces of a lot of cars that I drove that I would take so um, yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll make another video right now later guys